This is a quick introduction to the web key specification for web developers. This specification is used to make public key cryptography easier to use on the web. Uh, the technology is used extensively by the Payswarm specification, which is an open, patent, and royalty-free way of doing payments on the web. Um, so if you want to follow along in this tutorial, there are two things that you're going to need uh, when trying it out. The first is the Payswarm JS node module, uh, which can be found on GitHub. Uh, you can uh, just Google payswarm.js and GitHub to uh, find this page. Um, after that, it's just a matter of using Git to check out the source code from GitHub uh, to your local machine. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you're going to need is an account on dev.payswarm.com, uh, which is basically a de developer sandbox for a Payswarm authority. Uh, a Payswarm authority is basically the thing that we'll be registering our web keys against. Uh, it's also the thing on the Payswarm network that is capable of moving money around in the uh, real world. Um, so once we have those two prerequisites out of the way, we can go ahead and just uh, jump into the Payswarm.js uh, node module and take a look around. So the first thing that you'll notice in this uh, module is the examples directory. Go ahead and go in there. And uh, the specific example that we're uh, looking at today is the register new key uh, script. Um, so this script is going to do three uh, major things. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to generate a public-private key pair. The second thing it's going to do is uh, tell us to contact the Payswarm Authority and register the key with the Payswarm Authority. And then the third thing it's going to do is receive an encrypted message from the Payswarm Authority with the web key configuration information in it. So let's go ahead and uh, run this and uh, see what happens. So as you can see, it uh, generated a new public-private key pair. And now it's asking us to go to this URL and register the key. So let's go ahead and copy that link address and go to our browser and put it in there. Um, now, one of the things that uh, is, is kind of strange here is that we have to copy this URL in the first place. That's only because we're using a command line client. If we were to use a uh, web-based uh, Payswarm, uh, sorry, web key client, uh, it would just take us to the website. It would take us to effectively this page, and we'd be able to continue with the registration process. Um, so this is the Payswarm Authority's registration uh, page. Uh, we're basically registering uh, a public, the public side of our web key. Uh, on this page, and we're telling the Payswarm Authority uh, what we want, uh, what other options we want associated with the key. So the purpose of this key is going to be for buying things and listing things for sale. Uh, you can associate an identity with the key. Uh, so I don't want this identity, I want to pick another one. Um, and then you can also associate a financial account uh, with the web key. Uh, so basically whenever we use this web key to buy something, on the web, uh, the money will come out of this account if we don't specify another account for it to come out of. Um, and then finally, we can specify a name for the key so that it's easier for us to recognize uh, on, uh, on web pages. Finally, we're going to click register, and the Payswarm Authority is going to basically create this encrypted message, which has all of the configuration information that we just filled out um, to give back to our uh, our application. So uh, all we're going to do is uh, copy this and then uh, put it back in the application. Again, this we only need, need to do this because we're using a command line client. If we were using a web-based client, uh, this would happen automatically. Uh, so we're going to paste this encrypted message in here. This message was encrypted against the private key that we just created in the previous step. Uh, so the only uh, application that should be able to read this message is our application. So it's encrypted. If it goes across the, the, the Internet, nobody can snoop on that message uh, except for us, uh, the application that, that, created, uh, that created the private key that the message was uh, encrypted against. Um, so we're going to try to decrypt this encrypted message using our private key. And sure enough, we can. Uh, and the information that the Payswarm Authority sends us back uh, is the uh, identity that owns the key now, uh, the financial account that's associated with the key, and the public key URL for the web key. So this URL uh, here can be used for uh, multiple things. Uh, the first thing that it can be used for is to uh, uh, verify digital signatures. So whenever we send a message to someone uh, over the internet, um, 
we attach this URL to that message and say, look, this is where our, our public key is. And the, the receiver can go there, read the public key information, and then verify the digital signature using that public key information. The other thing that uh, someone can do with this URL is they can go to it uh, and, and get the public key information and then encrypt a message to send to us. So this is basically what the Payswarm Authority just did. It created a message, encrypted it for our public key, and only we could read that message. Um, so that's basically it. That's how you register a web key uh, using the web key spec. It's a simple three-step process. You generate the public-private key pair, you register it with the Payswarm Authority, and then you get an encrypted message back that tells you what your configuration information is.